Hello everyone and welcome to day 809 of Wild Writing in the Time of Corona. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's poem um, came to me as sometimes poems do and um, I had the line in my ha head, she protects her garden or she begins by protecting her garden and I really like that as a line, I don't know why. Um, and so I built a poem around it and this is the poem that has um, come from that and I call the poem Garden. Worrying she may fear too far, distraught as a villain who inhabits a darkened stage, she resolves to turn into the gathering light. No more gloomy corners, she says, no knots of worry twisting in my gut. She begins by protecting her garden a patch of awkward land borrowed for her life, careless of her dreams. Amongst clay and stones, above other foundations, she plants, tends her fragile green companions. Bees begin to congregate. The very air itself is peopled. Long dormant tubers sprout and shoot, rising in summer rain, like mermaids far out at sea. Daily she wanders there, eyes clear for signs of change. Sorry, daily she wanders there, eyes clear for signs of damage. Slimy nightly thieves, so she believes, who eat away her joy. So she protects her garden, learning to love its silent population Myriads of verdant lives who sometimes, on occasions, respond to her kind touch. Stepping out into the borders, buried, leafy and floral, into the light of the next new day, she smiles, for she knows her garden protects her. It's always been that way. So that's my um, my poem about, I think, the, the benefits of gardening. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, do send me your poems about uh, your gardens if you wish as well. Anyway, um, you take care and I will see you again soon. Bye bye for now.